Stellenbosch, the city of oaks. The trees that are the town's namesake not only add aesthetic value to the town, but hold cultural significance for its inhabitants. So when a storm in April of 2024 damaged or destroyed many of Stellenbosch's oaks, Stellenbosch Wine Roots, in conjunction with dozens of wine farms across Stellenbosch, vowed to plant more than a thousand trees over the coming year to restore the town's iconic landscape. This was confirmed by Mia Koch, human resources manager at Taibosch, a wine farm that will be taking part in the process alongside its sister farms. Koch noted that the planning for the project is only in its initial phase, and that its success hinges on individual wine farms volunteering to plant trees on their premises. We are planting um, 15 one five trees on our properties. So it's not like we're planting trees in town. We will be planting the trees on our Stellenbosch property. Planting trees, for conservation or for aesthetic purposes, is not a novelty for Stellenbosch wine farms. Simon Greer, ex-owner of Villiera, has been making his wine farm greener for 14 years. The first year we thought, okay, if we want to consume all the carbon produced by the uh, winemaking practices, um, 10,000 big evergreen trees would consume the carbon from turning 2,000 tons of grapes into wine. So my staff grew 10,000. Planting a tree, as long as it's not invasive, is the right thing to do. You know, it is the acre stunt. So it's named after the oaks, so there's a historical significance there. The remains of the town's oldest oak tree, which was one of the casualties of the storm in April, have been collected. The idea is for the remnants of the dead tree to be exhibited in the middle of town as an art piece that will be unveiled in October of 2024. It will be a fitting wake for one of Stellenbosch's oldest residents. Martinus Buertis reports for SMF News.